open, playing in the snow, no angels, no angels, see something in the snow, snow globe, shaking the snow globe, whoa, floating around, wow, light of fire, shaking, guess what these items are doing now, whoa, flight, whoa, said, guess what's going to happen, not Coco, shake it up, skiing down a hill and building a snowman, looks surprised, he's trying to grab, trying really hard, how does Sam feel now, uh oh, oh no, we're in the air, uh oh, straight towards, oh no, cracking, got away, such a fun day. Hi everyone, we are so excited to introduce you to our brand new gingerbread man story called Gingerbread on the Go-Go in the Snow Globe. Everything has been illustrated and created by Go Go Speech. We know that all of your kids just love that gingerbread man, so we think you're really going to have some fun in your sessions with this one. In the story, you'll get to join our friends Sam, Lily, Kevin, and Cece as they find a snow globe while playing in the snow. And when they shake up that snow globe, our favorite little cookie will appear inside of it. So we'll get to see that gingerbread man displaying lots of different fun wintry actions throughout until a sibling squabble at the end leads to the gingerbread man's perfect escape. This is a one resource activity that you can use with all of your kids by adjusting your presentation of it to target their goals. Like our other activities, you can use this resource as a tool to work on a wide range of speech and language skills. You can pick some repetitive phrases and verbal routines to use throughout that include target sounds and language goals to get lots of trials in. This story has so many opportunities to describe items, actions, and scenes, to use clues to predict and guess what will come next, to address the emotions and perspectives of each of the characters. So I'm just going to quickly go through to show you what it looks like and provide you with some ideas on how you can use it in your sessions. We're going to start off by opening the magic doors to an empty snowy scene. Open! <gasps> hmm. <gasps> It's our friends, Lily, Kevin, Sam, and Cece. So you can use the kids' go-go names, or you can give them nicknames or just other names that include your child's speech sounds. You can have your kids greet all of the children in the story and discuss what they're wearing. Now you can go back and forth between these two slides to see them jumping up and down because they're so excited to play in the snow. I wonder what they're going to do. Sam has an idea. He wants to make snow angels. Good idea, Sam. So now you can use the arrow keys to go back and forth between these slides to make Sam and Lily make snow angels. You can tell them to keep going, keep making snow angels. You can tell them to kick their legs. Their arms go up, then down. And then it's going to be Cece and Kevin's turn. And you can use whatever language that you use for Sam and Lily. Snow angels push the snow. They're really good at that. They're surprised. <gasps> You see something in the snow and you can have your kids tell Kevin to grab it. Whoa, is that a snow globe? How cool is that? And you can talk to your kids about snow globes and if they've ever seen one or played with one before. Everyone is so interested in the snow globe. Oh, it looks like Lily came over to show them how it works. Show us, Lily. So you're going to do this when each of the kids takes a turn shaking the snow globe. You'll just go back and forth with the arrows. And while she's shaking it, you can say, shake it up or go, Lily. So we have Lily watching and she's very excited as everything is floating around in the snow globe. Whoa, look at that. So when each of the characters shake up the snow globe, there's going to be a big flurry inside of the globe and a bunch of items are going to be floating around. And you're not going to be able to see them as well at first. So if you want, you can challenge your kids to try to figure out what's in the snow globe. But then as you go to the next slide, the images are going to appear much better as they keep floating around. So there's going to be two slides that you can go back and forth between as they're floating. Whoa, look at what's floating around in the snow globe. So you can have your kids identify the items and describe the items. And then you want to see if your kids can figure out what the scene is going to be with the gingerbread man. <gasps> Wow, the gingerbread man is reading a book by the fire. And on this scene, you can go back and forth to make the snow fall as you're watching the gingerbread man read his book. So you'll find that the gingerbread man has lots of different actions and activities that he'll display. And eventually the scene ends and the gingerbread man is gone. <gasps> Oh no, what happened to him? Lily looks surprised. It looks like someone else is reaching for the snow globe. So you can try to have your kids guess which character that is based on the clothing. I bet they're gonna try to get the gingerbread man to come back. They can say, is Sam taking the snow globe? <gasps> Shake it up, keep shaking, let's see. So again, the flurry appears. You can try to guess what these items are, even though they're kind of hard to see right now. And then finally, we'll get a better view as the items keep floating around in the snow globe. I wonder what the gingerbread man is going to do now. Hmm. I see a sled. I see pizza. Whoa, he's sledding with pizza. Whoa. And if you want, you can go back and forth between these slides to make him go sledding again. Up, 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 down, down, down. Oh, he's gone. Sam looks surprised. I wonder who that is. <gasps> Cece wants to try it. Shake it up. And she shakes it. 
Wow, look at that, Cece. Let's see. And the items float around. So you can try to guess what's going to happen. The gingerbread man is drinking hot chocolate. Oh, he's sipping hot cocoa. Mm. So for all of these things, you can ask your kids if this is something they like to do when it's really cold outside. You can have the gingerbread man keep sipping the hot chocolate and then oh, it's all gone. So we have the gingerbread man reading by the fire at first, then sledding down the hill, sipping hot chocolate, and then it's Kevin's turn. Shake it up. Then skiing down a hill. Then Lily goes one more time. And again, try to guess what the gingerbread man will be doing. So the very last snow globe scene is the gingerbread man building a snowman. Then the snowman melts away and disappears, but the gingerbread man is still there. What's happening? It looks like Sam and Lily are grabbing the snow globe to take another look. The gingerbread man looks surprised. I bet they're happy that the gingerbread man is still there. He didn't disappear yet. Uh-oh. I wonder if Sam is trying to grab the snow globe from Lily. I wonder how Lily feels about that. Uh-oh. Lily pulled it her way. It looks like she's trying really hard to get that snow globe. How does Sam feel now that Lily's trying to take it? Uh-oh. Oh no, Lily and Sam accidentally threw the snow globe up in the air. Oh no, oh no. What do you think could happen to the snow globe? Do you think they wanted to throw it in the air? So you're gonna watch that snow globe fly through the air and uh-oh, it looks like it's headed straight towards that rock. Oh no, the kids all look so surprised. Maybe they think the snow globe will break and then you're going to see the snow globe crack. You can have the kids say, it's cracking. Uh-oh, the gingerbread man looks kind of happy about it though. I wonder what he's thinking. It looks like the kids are far away from the snow globe. We better tell them to hurry up, go, go, go. It's that way, keep going. <gasps> Oh no, he already got away. And look, the snow globe is broken, cracked open. And you can see the gingerbread man running away in the distance and then he's gone. He got away. Aw. So then you can see that Sam and Lily are sad. I wonder why they feel sad. What could they have done instead of trying to grab the snow globe from each other? So you can talk about their perspectives of the situation and how maybe they feel sad because they think it was their fault that the snow globe flew in the air, landed on a rock, and let the gingerbread man escape. Look, I wonder what Kevin and Cece are doing. Are they trying to tell them something? Maybe they're trying to tell them that they're not mad about the gingerbread man getting away and that we all make mistakes. They know that Sam and Lily didn't mean to throw the snow globe. They forgive them. Sam and Lily are so happy to have such good friends and they're also happy to have each other. Whoa, it's getting dark. They better get home. So you can have your kids say, go home. It's getting late. And then you're gonna flip to the ending scene where the kids are cozy and having fun at Sam and Lily's house. So you can describe the scene and talk about what they're doing. They're all wearing the slippers that Gingerbread Man was wearing in the snow globe. That was such a fun day. Maybe we'll catch that Gingerbread Man next time. And that's the end of the story. If you're signed up as a GoGo -Go member, you will also get access to some different printable PDFs that go along with this activity. These printable PDFs can be used in your in-person sessions or emailed over to parents to be used at home during your virtual sessions. So GoGo -Go members will get a snow globe sequencing activity where the kids will get to cut out the different gingerbread man scenes from the bottom and then glue them to the snow globes in order as they appear in the story. This comes with an additional page for literacy work to write about what the gingerbread man is doing in each of the snow globe scenes. GoGo -Go members will also get a PDF with story manipulatives so you can cut out the included gingerbread man scenes before using the stories and you can laminate them if you'd like. Then as you go through the story, you can switch out the snow globe scenes to reflect what is happening in the story. The big snow globe printable can also be used as a coloring activity page that you can give to your kids to draw their favorite scene from the story right on the snow globe. And as always, GoGo -Go members will get a printable companion book to go along with the story. This is just a shortened version of the story and 
it's awesome for story retell and promoting carryover of skills learned in your sessions at home. So that's it for this one. I hope your sessions are filled with lots of gingerbread joy, and I hope you and your kids all have a blast. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!